Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on the Backlog Gamer channel. We are playing Grand Theft Auto 5. We are at the Bureau. And... I guess gotta go meet with Dave. Is this the one we gotta shoot our way out of this thing? Yep, it sure is. Ah, see? Maybe that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Oh, Steve, oh, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the... Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? Holy me. shit. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? The fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Oh, yay. God, I ain't it. going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. This guy's gonna stand up right over here, ain't he? What happened? All right. Opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. Take, hey, you got the vantage point. Give me a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Hank's made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the bureau. Looks clear. D, make a play for that stone bench by the pool. I'm coming down. Why does it always switch my freaking gun? Someone clocks my chopper. Hey, thanks, T. 
Gosh, dang it. Oh, crap. Oh. All right. I need to find a different car. This one is about killed. I'm scraping something on the ground. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it to when we get to uh, Trevor here. So, what are you doing, smoking? Huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two <clears throat> government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to... I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I haven't... What, homie? What do you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come man. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but... If it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then, you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Mm, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. All right, what well now? We're at my house. We'll see what's happening. I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. 
I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You gotta help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is old. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Fuck, man, my whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. All right, let's go help Lamar, see what we can get done. Where's my damn car at? Oh. It's out here. <laughs> Let's get in this one. So we find one. I'll just because it's raining, I'll ever drive my dang motorcycle. Get away, motorcycle. Oh, crap. Franklin, hey, what's what, up? Wait. Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Why don't you just calm yourself there, Franklin? What the fuck? Hell yeah. Made that jump right there, boy. Landed it too, almost, kinda. No, 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 no. Turn my car all to shit. Hey, hey, why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest. Wipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. This is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but sway bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there he go. You know, tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Class, he's already planning his escape. Oh. I'm gonna find a way in. All right, let's go do it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in, and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left, there's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. All right, my turn to move. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. Hmm. Let's see here. I 
Can't see nobody. That's all. Get in here. See you up there.
Let's go! Give me a minute. I'm gonna take Lamar. All right, I'm going too. Bye, thanks. Is we ever gonna get a proper introduction, dog? I can take care of myself. Go. T, call me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn and get horny on your office supply. All right. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitch has got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or right, get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Bang. Man, you show? Sure? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times. No. Yeah. I'm dead. Damn. Nope. Not yet. No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking right. about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. <laughs> you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, Nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the city. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga. If you remember where that is. <laughs> oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. 
Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, flossing ass nigga. Hmm. If you've enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Leave me some comments on the videos. Let me know what games you'd like to see me play on this channel. Um, guys, with that being said, we uh, we're going on to the next video. So, thanks for watching.